guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with the entire 90 Lacquer collection for holiday 2015. There is a duo, a six piece and a trio. So I'm just gonna get straight into it because we have a lot of nail polish to talk about today. So I will start with the trio and this is for um, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is actually the, I believe, the last Thursday of November, if my American friends have told me correctly. And these are just really, really gorgeous, fall appropriate Thanksgiving themed colours. But if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, there is no reason why you shouldn't pick these up because they are stunning. So I will be doing what I have done on all of the collections for 9-0. I will be talking you through them, doing swatch photos, and then at the end I will do a summary and tell you my favourites. So with this trio, we will start with Turkey Coma. Now this is a, um, a bronze holographic, absolutely stunning and completely original. I haven't seen anything else like this on the market. And um, this was completely opaque in two colours. It was super shiny and really, again, one of these colours with neutrals. I really love wearing neutrals in the winter time um, and they're really appropriate for like, Christmas parties and they just give it a nice little pop without being too in your face. If you want to go for something a bit more subtle this Christmas and autumn, definitely... Um, go for this one. Like I said, this was um, Turkey Coma and there's two coats in my swatch photo. Then we have Cranberry Sourced and this is a gorgeous um, like raspberry, cranberry I guess would be the more appropriate word, ba jelly base with a ton of glitter in. The glitter is mainly red and then you also have some gold in there too if my camera's going to focus. Look at that. This is so, so stunning. Another one where it's completely opaque in two coats. Um, with some of these jelly mixes, on the first coat you may not think you're going to get it opaque in two, but believe me, they even out and they're so beautiful in just two coats. This will dry slightly textured, not a huge amount, but make sure you get a nice top coat to put on the top to make it nice and shiny and smooth. Again, another stunning one. I really love this tr whole um, Thanksgiving trio. They are so beautiful. So this one is Cranberry Sauce, and here's the swatch photo. And last in the trio we have Stuffed. Stuffed is a dense holographic polish and it's because it's meant to be look like stuffing but it is just a really really gorgeous mix. Can the camera even focus? So it is um, in a clear base and then it is just gold and kind of bronze and holographic and there's like some red and brown. It's just really 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 stunning. This to me kind of reminds me of like autumn leaves as well so again like I say really really appropriate for this time of year. Again Two coats can make it completely opaque. Be prepared for a slightly harder removal process because it is a dense micro glitter, but it's completely worth the uh, like time that you have to take to get this off because it's so, so, so pretty. Again, two coats of stuffed for the swatch photo. So that is a trio for Thanksgiving for 90 for 2015. All absolutely stunning sewing polishes. I love each and every one of these. They are so, so beautiful. Um, and next we're going to be talking about the six piece holiday collection. Next up I have the six piece holiday collection. First up is Stocking Stuffer, and this is one of those classic glitter toppers for Christmas. It is made up of circle glitter in green, red, gold, um, kind of a whitey silver and holographic. So, so pretty and really, really easy to apply. I didn't have to dab or swirl, it was very easy. You slight bit of manipulation once you put the glitter on just to make sure it spreads out quite nicely. Um, and in the swatches, you're gonna see one coat of this over the top of the model's own Hypergel in jet black. But this was really, really nice and I would highly recommend this. Um, it, I guess you can kind of wear it all year round, but it's definitely a Christmas polish, so get this one in your collection. You can wear it every year, um, really, really pretty, and this is Stocking Stuffer. Next up we have a Peculiar Star, and this is a very, very deep blue jelly with lots and lots and lots of blue micro glitter in there as well. This one does dry textured so you need to be prepared to put at least one or two coats of top coat on there. I'm currently using the model's own hypergel top coat which is really really thick so I just need to put one on there to make it completely smooth and fill in all those gaps but just be prepared that you might need to put two. This is also going to make it slightly harder to remove but the reason why it is so shiny and gorgeous in um, the pictures is because it's got so much glitter in therefore it's going to be a bit more of a textured finish on your nail so you kind of balance it up in the end but it's such a stunning photo I don't really mind textured polishes I quite like them um, but just if you're not a fan of them I maybe would stick away from this one um, just because for that reason so this one is a peculiar star and two coats to get it completely opaque The 
The green one for this collection is called Cat in a Christmas Tree and it's actually what I'm wearing on my nails right now. Um, I can definitely empathise with Cat in a Christmas Tree. Not last year, the year before, my cat um, broke my Christmas tree by climbing it on Boxing Day, so... I really, really understand and empathise with this title. Um, Jess herself did say this is kind of similar to Lilybug from the um, 90 Lacquer Preview collection with native wall paints. So if you do have both, um, or you do have that one, you might necessarily want this one, but I think they're quite they're, sim they're different enough to warrant having both if you want to go support Jess and get both. So this one is a green jelly and then you have more gold glitter in it. With Lilybug it was more of a silver glitter. This is definitely more gold and more Christmassy feeling. Two coats can make, get it completely opaque. It is beautiful on the nail. Doesn't dry to a textured finish. Dries really, really smooth um, and like I say, completely opaque. And two, here's the swatch photos of Cat in the Christmas Tree. start on top and in every Christmas collection you need to have a gold and this gold is just stunning. I love dense micro glitters that you can build up to be completely opaque by themselves. That's what I live for in these type of Christmassy polishes and this does not disappoint. Two coats get completely opaque. You may find you need to go back and fill in um, with, I wouldn't even say it's a third coat, but you might just need to dab or kind of watch your application on the second coat to make sure it is opaque in two, but it's totally an achievable look in two. Um, and this is just gold micro glitter in a clear base and then it's just it's just stunning I'm getting distracted by it just looking at it here so 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 pretty start on top next we have the kind of cult classic from this collection people have started to order these already and this keeps selling out so if you can't get hold of it at the moment Jess will be restocking these periodically so keep an eye out this is twinkle lights and this is a um, like a silver holographic nail polish with lots and lots and lots of different glitters in there. The glitters are kind of like see-through glitters, so they're not completely opaque. You can see the holographic behind them and on top of them. It builds up really, really pretty in two coats. Again, it's another one when on the first coat, you might not think you're going to be able to get it opaque, but believe me, you can. It is so stunning. It's so original. I have not seen anything like this anywhere. Um, really, really amazing. I'm so glad that Jess came up with this one. Twinkle Lights by 90 Lekka. And finally, we have Santa Suit, and this is, I'll hold it up actually next to Cranberry Sourced. So Cranberry Sourced is here and Santa Suit is here. So as you can see, Cranberry Sourced is um, a little bit more pinky and it has a lot more glitter in it, um, a lot more gold glitter as well. You can definitely see the difference between them. Um, and so Santa Suit has got a more finely milled uh, gold micro glitter running through it. Um, it is easier to remove than uh, Cranberry Sourced. It definitely doesn't dry textured at all. And again, completely opaque in two coats. Um, I'm going to repeat myself again. So stunning. You need it. You need this, all this whole collection. So, so beautiful. Um, Santa Suit suit by 90 Lacquer. So lastly we have a duo and this is Sparkle All The Things and Sparkle All The Things Gold. Um, I know that originally when Jess was talking to me about this she had the idea of these kind of as like a New Year's Eve kind of duo. So you can wear these over any polish, you can pair them over the top of some of the ones in this collection today and, and just enhance that um, holographic sparkleness or you can just put them over any colour. I've done, um, for my swatch photo which I may or may not put in because my camera was not focusing on the day I took these, um, I've got um, my pointer finger and my middle finger are the silver and then my pinky finger and my ring finger are the gold over the top of black just one coat and um, so if I will in, I will try and insert it and hopefully it makes sense if not some of the other bloggers that have reviewed these have done a lot better photos of these I don't have a macro lens on my camera so I couldn't quite capture these as well as some other people but these are so stunning they are similar and in the same kind of family as the china glaze golden enchantment and fairy dust but I would say these are even more finely milled glitter in there so again sparkle all the things gold and sparkle all the things and here is my swatch photo which I hope is good So out of the 12 polishes, I'm going to pick kind of my favourite four. My favourite four are um, Cat in a Christmas Tree, just because I love greens over this time of year. I love the name, like I said, for the reason um, that cats do love Christmas trees. And it's just really, really festive. Um, the next one that I love is Stuffed. And I, as I say, I do love the micro glitters you can build up by themselves. And this one, compared to Start on Top, is just a little bit more unique because you have so many different types of glitter in one bottle. We then, of course, have Twinkle Lights, that cult classic that I said for this collection. Um, really really 
keep your eye on the restocks because this is selling out so so fast and lastly we have Santa suit I don't really have too many kind of red glitters especially like this and for Christmas you kind of need a cult green and you need a cult red so there's those for that reason if you kind of look at them I have picked the most like Christmassy colors if we look at them all together they do look kind of like Christmas in nail polish form so shipping and everything is exactly the same before. Like I have said a few times, these are selling out really, really quickly. There will be restocks periodically through the end of November and December. And I'm sure Jess will publish kind of when all the restocks are done. But as far as I know, there is no end date for these restocks. Um, my packaging as before was really, really great. I got mine in a bubble mailer with them all individually bubble wrapped and then in a bubble mailer. And um, since I got all 12, they all arrived, arrived so safely and they obviously traveled overseas. So for that long journey, they arrived to me in one piece, which was so great. And I think with the way she packages them it'll be very very rare that you would get a breakage if at all so really great packaging I will link down below 90 lacquer and Jess's information and for swap for all the other swatch photos and videos and everything just check out the Instagram she is kind of reposting everybody's um, reviews and swatches as they come in some people have already started receiving these so just check out the hashtag 90 lacquer and you'll be able to see everybody's um, polishes as they come in Thank you so, so much for watching my review of the 90 Lacquer Holiday Collections for 2015. Um, as before, Jess did send me these for an honest review and honestly, honestly, these are stunning. This possibly is my favourite collection out of the three that she's done so far. I really, really love the glitter mixes and everything all in one. I love it. Have I said that as many times? I love this collection. I really love this collection. Um, I will see you guys very, very soon and give me a big old thumbs up and subscribe. Tell me which ones you ordered down below and I'll see you later.